Right, if there's any rumours out there that I've died, clearly those rumours are only rumours. I am alive. I swear to God, I'm alive. <laughs> First of all, guys and girls, uh, apologies for the lack of, of video content over the past, sort of what, three or four months? It's been absolutely atrocious. I mean, it really has. But um, I think, to be fair, I normally do have a bit of a uh, hiatus in the summer periods. And it gets really hot, and, and, and the last thing you want to do is sit in front of a, a video camera in, in a in a room with a computer in it, you know, bellowing out heat and everything. So it, it's, it's not the best thing I want to do in the summer. Um, but I am extremely conscious I've put no video up and I need to get some video up because I want to get some video up. But it's just getting that, that, that drive to get off your fat ass and actually go and do something. But um, anyway, I thought I would do a, a sort of, I suppose just a, a a very brief summary video of 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 what I have bought recently, which isn't a fat lot to be honest. So sorry to disappoint you guys that I haven't spent a shitload of cash on a load of gaming gear that I'm never going to ever use. I've spent some cash on some gaming gear that I certainly won't ever use. We'll have a bit of a laugh and joke as I sort of go through showing you what I have bought recently or, or certainly had the past sort of two, three, four months. Might have a little bit of a discussion about uh, certain other things that are going on, but um, don't want to bore you to death with any of that stuff. So we will jump straight in to what I have bought recently, which isn't horrendously exciting by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I suppose really this video is going to be a precursor to me buying a shitload of stuff because it's actually starting to gear up now. Certainly from um, certainly from the back end of August through to November, I think this is this is sort of the 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 pre-order season uh, with the run up to Christmas and and yeah, I will be buying a shitload of shit. Don't worry about that. Um, and I'll do a video on that as and when that stuff comes through. But, but one of the big items or the bigger items that I will be buying over, over the next couple of months is the PlayStation VR. Um, I've sort of been on the edge about the VR stuff, uh, certainly in respect to PC side. So you've, you've really got the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift as the two main sort of... Um, uh, PC competitors and my mate's actually just gone out and got an oculus rift so I'm gonna go around and have a quick uh, butchers of that and see what it's like he actually had the dev kit 2 before um, he's saying it's a marked improvement since the dev kit 2 but it's one of those things I'm gonna end up buying and I'm not gonna use I know I'm not gonna use it and it's quite a lot of cash even though I'm not um, I'm not adverse to blowing a shitload of cash on stuff that I won't use I need to be a bit more sensible nowadays I'll I can't keep doing that. Well, I can keep doing it, but I don't want to keep doing it. So anyway, so I'm a bit on the fence about the about the VR stuff. I've got a pre-order in for the PlayStation VR. I may still cancel that pre-order. I'm probably kidding myself to thinking that I'm actually going to uh, cancel it, but but I might do. I might do. I don't know. I'm not really hankering after VR to be honest. Um, I'm quite quite at ease with playing on on a screen I really am so I don't know we'll see how that goes but undoubtedly I'll I'll go and get one and I'll I'll do a video on that but uh, let's hope that I keep some sanity between now and, and October I think it's released but like I said I've got a pre-order already so I'll probably be really weak and just and just go and get it so back to the gaming stuff now admittedly Guys, I think you'll know from from well from a lot of the videos that I've done on my channel. Um, I don't really buy retro stuff nowadays. I've got everything I want. I don't need anything else. So I don't go around collecting 
I don't go around adding to my collection of, of retro gaming so a lot of the stuff I do buy is either gadget related or, or stuff to do with current gen and I've got to be totally honest I mainly game on current gen now I really do I can't remember the last time I got any of my consoles out I can't remember the last time I switched my arcade cabinets on which is a bit crazy actually to be honest I've got them sat there I've got three of them next door and I just don't use them strangely enough I did think the other day I don't know why I was thinking this but I thought that um, if I ever get a problem with one of the monitors in in my cabinets I think I might junk that cabinet but that's probably me being a bit of a uh, saying that because as I'm a bit of a collector, I have got a spare. I've got a spare um, arcade monitor in the garage and I've also got a spare chassis in the garage, although the sh chassis does need repairing, but I can get that repaired. But uh, because I haven't played the, uh, the two Naomi cabinets for I can't remember switching them on this year, if I'm being honest. Um, I might have done it at the start of the year. I certainly haven't really played them for, you know, properly. I bet it, 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 it's a good 12 months and it does make you think, what's the point of having them? If I'm not using them at all, what's the point of having them? So, I don't know, perhaps I'm just going through a bit of a phase at the moment. Um, but we'll see what happens. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, or there wasn't anything wrong with them last time that I used them. I might, actually, after I've done this video, I might fire them up just to make sure they're okay. But then again, I might not, but I don't know, I don't know. So, yeah, so I'm sort of going through a bit of a, yeah, do I bother keeping the cabinets? I don't know. I've had them quite a few years now, the first cabinet or the first uh, proper cabinet out of the ones that you guys know that I've got. I think I bought that in 2009, so we're getting on seven years ago now. Um, but yeah anyway let's move on to uh, the current gen stuff now you guys know that i'm into my fighters and i did go out and buy on the playstation 4 street fighter 5. now it won't uh, surprise you whatsoever to appreciate that i think i've only just switched that on to make sure it works make sure it works what would i want to make sure it works for but i've only played it well I've looked at it once. Now one of the main reasons I didn't do that was because of the way they released that version, uh, both on the PC and the PlayStation 4, is they held back a lot of content because they wanted to rush it out effectively to get it in for one of the, 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 um, uh, the annual fighting competitions. And, and the game really should never have been released in the state it was, and I thought, oh bollocks, I can't be asked to get into it when it's actually half a finished game. So what they've done over the past uh, several months is uh, they've released updates and they've added content, content, content to it. Um, and there's still DLC you can buy for it, but a lot of the additional stuff to do with story modes, etc., and some of the characters have been added free of charge. So I have that now in a fit state, I think, where I actually can start playing it. But I'm not quite sure when that's gonna be, because I wanna do I want to do a video on something about about Street Fighter connected to one of my cabs, uh, PlayStation 4, and and some other stuff. So I'll probably I'll probably pull all that into one video, and that'll probably be the next video I do actually in respect of um, uh, connecting the PlayStation 4 up to my arcade cabinet using a device called Cronus Max Plus, which is I've, I've done a review on it already, and I bought some other odds and sods uh, for converters to enable me to connect it up. But anyway. I won't go into that now. So Street Fighter V, I will give that a blast at some point. Also, uh, on the PlayStation 4, and and why would anyone that owns a PlayStation 4 um, and not have bought this game but Uncharted 4? Now, I've only just recently started playing this game, surprise, surprise, but I have only just started um, playing uh, that game recently uh, but the reason for that is because several months ago i did buy uncharted uh, the collection for the playstation 4 which is the first three episodes uh, remastered uh, for the playstation 4. i'm sure you guys know that um now even though even though i had already um uh, bought uh, those three separately on the playstation 3 
Uh, surprise, surprise, I'd never got round to playing them the first time round. I thought, right, I'm going to play them in HD. And I've, I've, had, I've, I'm pretty amazed, but I've actually gone through each, each of the episodes. I suppose you should call them the episodes, and they're not chapters because each game's got chapters, doesn't it? So, so each of those, th so each of those three episodes, I've gone through the PlayStation Four and completed it. Can't believe it. It's probably took me, I bet it's took me the best part of five months. That's because I've been playing it solidly for five months because I don't get much time. But for me to actually go through three games like that in that sort of period of time, because uh, there's quite a bit to the games and and. It, it it's I'd probably only play every time I played it I'll probably play three quarters an hour or something and like I said I don't get a lot of time to play stuff but the fact I've managed to stick at it long enough to get all the way through it I'm pretty amazed um, and I didn't like the last one which was ooh, uh, Drake's nah, uh, Drake's Deception was alright yeah yeah it was alright it, it it's the worst one out of the three by a by a country mile, by an absolute country mile. I thought it was a bit of a grind, to be honest. It felt like it was a bit of a grind just to get through it. Uh, and chapter two, among thieves, uh, that to me was the best one out of the out of that trilogy. And Drake's Fortune was great as well. Uh, so I enjoyed the first two episodes. Didn't really enjoy uh, the final one on chapter three, but but. But yeah, I managed to get through all of them. Woohoo! Couldn't believe it. Uh, but I thought I'd do that before I actually get on to playing that. But I've had quite a few things going on recently, so I, I haven't put that much uh, playtime into that. I've probably done, I don't know, I've probably done about 15% of the game. 10-15% of the game. Uh, so I need to carry on blasting that. But uh, yeah, pretty impressed with the uh, with the Uncharted collection uh, without a shadow of a doubt and and if you've got a PlayStation 4 guys if you come from an Xbox for instance and you've gone for the PlayStation 4 and you haven't got that game uh, that collection of games get it. It, it it it's absolutely fantastic it really is really enjoyed it and, that, and I wasn't sure I was going to actually I wasn't sure I was going to but I really did enjoy it so yeah good purchase that one out of the many millions of purchases I've made and a recent game that I've got, is it recent? I think it is, past, I don't know, it's probably about a month ago-ish, don't know. It's the next version of Guilty Gear XR called uh, Revelator. So that's another uh, beat em up uh, fighting game. And it's the, it's the, 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 uh, it's the souped up version of Guilty Gear XR, which I'd already got anyway. Uh, but that's for the PlayStation 4. So, um, and yes, that one's still in the cellophane. I haven't even taken it out the cellophane, lo and behold. But I do, I do want to try that game at least. At least want to try. I really want to get into Street Fighter 5 to be honest. But um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now, I'm just going to quickly mention this, but I actually want to do a review on this to be honest because I'm. I'm hoping it will be worthy of a review. Uh, some of you guys would have noticed that uh, that behind me, next to the uh, next to the the uh, the lube and the toilet roll, <laughs> I don't know why I still have that in there because well, well, not every time I get comments on it, but a lot of time I get comments on it. And you go, well, hopefully a lot of you guys know what it's for. Yeah, okay, that didn't actually come out right. Yeah, forget that. I might even edit that out. Ah, uh, no, uh, perhaps not. Um, is I actually had a box behind me, some, somewhere around there, uh, that was on the shelf, it's been on there for the past few videos, and it was a box that this sat in, which is a Street Fighter V uh, official fight pad, a Mad Cat's official fight pad, and it's got really rave reviews, and it does, it does feel really nice, but I'm not going to say too much about that because I wouldn't mind actually doing a review on that. I think it'll be worthy to do a review on that. Um, so that is it, basically, guys. What I've been buying recently, not a fat lot, but I haven't had a fat lot of time to do anything anyway, even if I'd bought a load of stuff. But what I have done, which has sort of, sort of consumed my time a little bit, is that uh, some of you guys know that I'm into... Uh, cars into performance cars and uh, and in 20 where are we now 2015 in early 20 yeah early 2015 I went out and bought 
a an A45 AMG, which is uh, Mercedes Benz uh, uh, Super Stroke Hyper Hot Hatch at 300, 355 horsepower, um, a four wheel drive hatchback, uh, crazily quick. And I had it modified up to about 450 horsepower, and it was it was absolutely rapid. Actually, ended up being uh, being one of the quickest A45s in the UK. Um, I actually sold that car in where are we May May time this year, and actually went out and bought a brand spanking new Audi RS3. So that has been uh, consuming a lot of my time in respect of of of. Um, uh, trying to work out a, a modification project for that, which is similar to what I did with the uh, with the Merc, and I've been out driving it a lot in the nice weather, or actually not so nice weather, has it? But but any time I've had a chance, I've been driving out in it. So that's sort of taken a lot of my focus over the summer period. Anyway, I've been more into that than I've been to the gaming, but that is a slight distraction. So uh, anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the videos, and I'll speak to you again soon.